Food allergies affect over 220 million people globally, forcing many to avoid certain foods entirely to prevent severe reactions. Traditionally, allergen risk management has relied on a hazard-based approach, where even the potential trace of an allergen trigger precautionary labels like may contain nuts or manufactured in a facility that also processes nuts. Although well-meaning, this approach often results in excessive warnings, making food choices unnecessarily difficult for those with allergies. But now the Food and Agriculture Organization and the World Health Organization have developed a better solution, a risk-based approach. Instead of labeling based on the possibility of an allergen being present, this method uses science and data to assess actual risks, like for example, the likelihood of someone falling ill after eating a food. This new approach involves the development of a quantitative prioritization framework to decide which food allergens should be on a global priority list, health-based guidance values or reference doses to manage an intended allergen presence in foods. These values can guide decisions on precautionary labels, recalls, trade actions and advice for those with food allergies. FAO and WHO have also created tools that use these reference doses to help with deciding when precautionary allergen labeling is needed, as well as assessing whether certain foods, like highly refined ingredients, can be exempt from mandatory allergen labeling requirements. Risk-based management for allergen labeling is already in practice in some cases. Refined soybean oil is one example. After thorough risk assessments, it is exempt from allergen labeling requirements in many regions. These assessments showed that its refining process removes nearly all soy protein, leaving levels far below the thresholds established by the FAO and WHO framework, and therefore posing no serious threat. Using these tools, allergen management can become more precise, enabling clearer labeling that empowers consumers and reduces unnecessary trade barriers. FAO and WHO expert consultations have produced reports and brochures laying out guidelines, recommendations and considerations to help industry leaders and regulators adopt this new approach. We will continue enhancing these tools as the science progresses. By adopting a risk-based approach, we can ensure allergen labeling is clear, food trade is fair and safety standards are scientifically grounded.